good and great day. It's a tremendous day to be the difference you want to be in somebody's life and to make an impact with somebody that, you know, that's out there and that's in need. So I'm glad you're here. Glad you're committed to, to doing that. Thank you for taking time to watch this. Um, <clears throat> out here again, connecting with each other, growing, uh, sharing some resources, sharing some connections that I think and I hope will be a blessing to you and that will help you in your journey as we all do what we can every day to um, educate, grow, uh, help, support our learners in their new learning environment uh, when they're learning from home and you in your efforts to teach them at home as well. Okay, so uh, jumping straight to it. <clears throat> um, today, I want to give a good positive challenge to everybody. And this is just something you can do for the next couple of days. And I think it's going to I think it'll, it'll make you feel good. It, it'll, it'll light that happy fire in you. Yeah, we'll, we'll say that. <clears throat> and it's, and it's, and what gave me the idea is a good friend of mine, um, probably one of the smartest people I know. Please don't tell him that because his head is already big. It's just going to get a whole lot bigger. But yesterday I got a call out of the blue from a good friend of mine, Glenn Robbins. <clears throat> now, so Glenn, uh, middle school principal, former middle school principal, uh, that's how we met, uh, and now he's a superintendent of a school district in North in New Jersey. I was, I was, sorry, you know that's a hot spot. What's going on right now? <clears throat> um, and their community is being hit hard, like so many so many others. And just it's not how hard it's not are you being affected these days. It's how are you being affected these days? So uh, he caught me out the blue. It was great to see his great to see his contact name pop up, um, and he didn't want anything just to catch up, and <clears throat> and it just made me feel 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 good because I've talked to Glenn maybe a couple of months ago, but um, it's just been that long to where it felt like years, and we talked for a good little while. You know, he told me about his wife, his son, uh, son playing Fortnite, just. Uh, well, not just playing Fortnite. His son is doing all of his work. Uh, but, you know, that's one of the things that's keeping him engaged. And he's and how they're using Fortnite to stay connected to his friends. It's 2020. Embrace that we can be connected uh, digitally through games. Uh, so it's, it's different, but it's OK. And and, he, and then he then we just caught up on some of the other things that he's doing as well. So it was a great Great talk. I'm take, <clears throat> and the reason I'm, I'm spending some time on it is because of how it made me feel. So I got the call out of the blue. That's number one. He's a good friend. That's number two. And then I was inspired by what he told me, you know. So um, that was a great number three. He it, just the things that he's doing in his district. Now I'm gonna share a couple of things with you to see, to see uh, maybe that maybe that'll help you. So that hopefully will be my share with you today is uh, if you're a superintendent like him or if you're, you know what, forget that. If you're an educator and you want to share his idea with your superintendent or assistant superintendent or whatever, uh, that's what this is about. So this is about sharing a great idea with you. But before we get to that, <clears throat> it made me feel great to hear from a friend that I haven't heard from in a while. So here's the here's a piece that I want to put out there to you. We and these days we're all calling our friends. We're all zooming out, video chatting our friends. Uh, that's important. Whatever tool we want to use, so keep doing that. Of course, obviously. But the challenge I want to put to you is make one phone call today, and don't text them to tell them that you're calling. But just make one phone call today to someone you have not spoken to in at least five years. Okay, and. And be real with it. Um, just someone you haven't spoke to in five years. And this doesn't have to be a good or great friend, but it's somebody that you know. And when you call, so and when you call, hopefully knock on some wood, it's going to be a great conversation. But share something with them. So the connection is going to be the, the great piece. They're, I'm sure they're going to be happy to hear from hear from you and you should be happy to talk to them as well. But share with them something positive and uplifting that you have heard or that you're doing 
um, share a, a great story. You know, this, this, this is the type of um, connection and, and storytelling and um, just socializing that uplifts us. You know, that's the piece that this is what we thrive for. So, yeah, we can't be face to face, but we can. But I, but just getting this call out of the blue, um, making that connection, being sincerely happy to hear from someone and, and being glad that they're OK. Wonderful. So. Uh, so, yeah, d- just uh, let's please accept that challenge. I thought at least somebody, somebody that you have not spoken to in at least five years. Um, I'm going to do it for the next couple of days. And uh, and yeah, and 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 share them something one and share with them something wonderful. So that's cool. All right. So Glenn, like I said, the superintendent, uh, and he was an innovative school principal. Uh, and 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 I'm sh- and that innovation didn't stop with his new position. So one of the bold decisions, one of the bold things that he's done in his district is, um, you know, after talking to a bunch of people and realizing the situate the unique situation with their learners and their learners' families, how, you know, like I say, everybody has a unique situation, unique story. So a lot of his families are going to be, are out of work and are going to be out of work. <clears throat> Just like my, my school district, uh, give a shout out to Greater County Schools, committed to feeding kids, you know, uh, today, just on Facebook, I saw the superintendent say that they passed out 350, uh, close to 350 meals and just committed to doing that. So shout out to everybody to make sure the kids are being fed. Um, <clears throat> but Glenn decided that uh, that is a great start, um, uh, that that's a great thing that needs to continue. So he's made the bold decision to, you know, kind of adjust spring break. You know, um, we're going to work through spring break because if if some of our kids, if your school district is like my school district, like other school districts I've worked in, um, you'll have some students who most of their meals come from school and, and families count on that. Families count on that. So a week off is a lot. A week off, particularly when we're not working, we got to make some priorities and we have to prioritize some other things. Um, so uh, a week off is a lot. He realized that, had some talks with some people. And, you know, the, the best part about the best part of the story to me was, um, I, you know, I was waiting to. And this is just kind of how I guess how I'm conditioned right now is what barriers did you run into? That kind of thing. So, you know, what did what did your what did your board say? What did you, what did your community say? What did your what did your and then what did your employees say? What were your staff members saying? No problem. That is so to me. That's just the best hero work hero talk. Some of the best hero talk that we can have that's going on right now is we're stepping up to make sure kids are fed and we're doing everything we can to to do that. So <clears throat> in uh, Grady County, my school district. We're making stops. We have some, some, there are some stops that families come to, to, to get food delivered to them or where they can pick up. I'm sorry. Um, and him, how they're just rearranging and reorganizing a lot of things to make that happen is, is just fantastic. So, um, so in addition to, uh, reconnecting with my friend and, and, um, and just, and, and being very generous, I'm sorry. And, being very happy to hear from him. He was generous enough to share that story with me. Um, And, you know, I, I, I love that. I love that. We're at a time right now where we got to rethink a lot of things. Uh, We can read spring break is one of those things as well. So um, hats off to him. And if your school district is doing that as well, hats off to you and yours for, um, for making that sacrifice because it's the best sacrifice we can make, making sure kids are fed, making sure kids have what they need. Um, our families, uh, this is a time, this is something that families are going to remember. So, uh, yeah, shout out to Glenn. I uh, appreciate your brother. Yeah. Um, I'm going to share Glenn's contact information. Glenn is, uh, Glenn, 
<clears throat> Glenn was a middle school principal for years. He was very innovative. He was a national digital principal of the year. Um, I visited his school. Um, his school was the first one. His school, one summer, Glenn's, Glenn spent one summer painting every uh, desk. Uh, you know, that whiteboard paint, this clear paint, so that kids could write on the desk and, and, um, and get their answers out that way. Uh, Glenn also did an ed camp at his school every day, so that's something else. Uh, and, anyway, there, Glenn has done a lot of great things. He's a great one to reach out to, so I'm going to put his contact information uh, on social media here on this post as well. So I encourage you, please make sure you reach out to him. Um, <clears throat> so want to <clears throat> and want to I'm going to wrap up. I'm going to wrap up now, but I want to share uh, a message from. The revolution with you or sentiment from the revolution, I should say. And um, that's really about um, the, and hopefully this message, like like the others, will help you in your efforts and what you're doing to educate kids and, and what's going on right now. And that's really uh, our theme and our mission of empowering learners these days. So we have tremendous responsibilities right now just things that are just they're at uh, so much is being asked of educators and uh so hats off to you first and foremost for that <clears throat> um but as we're moving along and we're seeing the work that's coming out uh, as we're pushing the work out whether we're continuing digital learning efforts uh, or non-digital learning efforts, everyone engaged in this remote learning sphere, um, we can take some time to look at the quality of our work and making sure that we're enhancing the quality without adding on the quantity. Um, you know, one of the old school teaching methods, and this was when I was in school, was, you know, worksheet after worksheet after worksheet after worksheet. Um, and that's not that's really not necessarily learning. Um, there's a, a, a meme out there or something that says, don't confuse um, lots of work with learning or it's something like that. Uh, so don't we, we don't need to be impressed with um, 10 worksheets that are drill and kill. Um, let's we can we can get a lot accomplished with two or three great open-ended questions that put our kids on a project uh, path, on a path towards a project or path towards creating or um, or path towards understanding that it's not just going to be sit and get to to produce the work so um, the sentiment we talk about in the book is getting away from that worksheet mentality. So that's the encouragement here is in a way we can help with that. Please let us know. Uh, and, and, I, and I say this and I say this knowing that a lot of school districts out there are using packets either solely for the work or to supplement uh, the work that's being sent home. So I'm not knocking packets at all. If you got to do it, you got to do it. But we can look at the work that's being assigned and take that to another level. So that's where we are with that piece. Um, I, <clears throat> so I, I talked about the work, but I want to make sure that you, that you leave me knowing that, um, yeah, it, it's not about what we're doing these days. It's not about this work. Uh, we're, our society is being upended. Um, so before we ask questions about content, we need to ask questions about uh, my, my man, Joe Sanfilippo. Uh, are you okay? And do you have what you need? Then after that, we can have we can we can have good conversations. Then we need to have good conversations because um, we, we are here to be the best educators that we can be. Best and the best educators uh, start with "Are you okay?" All righty. So, um, good quick message today. Uh, just wanted to share that piece with you. Please accept that my challenge. In the next couple of days, call somebody you haven't talked to and, and think think hard and be honest with yourself. Five years. Call somebody, connect with somebody that you haven't um, talked to in five years. Call them up. 
give them some give them some good encouragement tell them the impact they made in your life give them a good story and and, and leave it at that this is it's a it's a great time to do this uh, we all need that connection right now so thank you for joining uh, be well be safe be blessed I'll see you again tomorrow